King has consolidated power, and he does function like a dictator now. So I think it's clear what's going on. Uh, there's no indication that he's moving China in a direction of more liberal thinking and more openness. In fact, it's quite the opposite. He's consolidating power and controlling the thoughts and communication and news uh, uh, as much as possible. Very interesting graph we saw here that uh, the uh, PRC is spending so much of its energy monitoring any thoughts that bring groups of people together as a force. And it's not so much criticism of the government, but anything that brings a movement together, they're terrified of, and spending an enormous amount of money to block that. Do you think this government is paying enough attention to how Xi Jinping consolidates his own power in China? Well, I think we're, we're starting to see, now this seems to be the, the uh, collective wisdom now, is that it's not a consolidation of power to do the right thing. It's consolidation of power to, uh, for the longevity of the Communist Party and the increased, the increased wealth of, of those elements, the elites within the party. We see now multi-million billionaires who are buying estates all over the world. Uh, their resources are now outside of China. They have uh, weekly uh, plane tickets ready to go in case things change in China. Uh, so this is a recipe for enormous unrest within China, and I think they perceive that that is going to happen.